Good morning, YouTube fam, and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is, your boy Rosie, your soon-to-be 61-year-old number one YouTube host. All right, family, as promised in the previous video, today is my birthday. Now, as a disclaimer, y'all may not see this video for a couple of days, but it's coming. Now, I promised y'all that I was going to cook six or seven of my favorite foods, and we're calling this my birthday mega meal. All right, family, so let me bring y'all in a little closer, show y'all what we got going on. All right, first up is my pot, and we're gonna, we got four potatoes and a dozen eggs. That is going to cook my potatoes for uh, potato salad, and it's also gonna cook my eggs for my favorite food on the planet, devil's eggs. And believe it or not, I even though I love devil eggs, I've never cooked them before myself. Somebody always cooks them for me, mainly Lady Red. All right, second up in the hot logic, we're cooking a ribeye steak. And you see I have my onions, my thyme, I have my salt and pepper over here in the corner, and that's all it takes to cook a good steak. Lady Red and I recently went on a road trip. We cooked a uh, ribeye steak in the hot logic in the Jeep. For about two, two and a half hours, came out perfect. Next up is sweet potatoes. And you see right here, we got our brown sugar. We got some half and half, some more salt and pepper once again. We're cooking those in my, in my other hot logic, my 110 boat hot logic. All right, family, we got a couple other things over here. We got shrimp. Those shrimp are actually going to go into the devil eggs. I... I, I forgot her name. One of our family friends. That's the way she prepares her devil eggs. And she puts her shrimp in the top of the devil. What, huh? Swanisha. And they came out excellent. Love it. All right, family. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a lengthy video, perhaps. But y'all are going to be in and out all day. As you noticed already, I'm not wearing my apron because I'm going to be cooking potato salad here. Uh, one of the other things we're going to be cooking... If you saw my video where we were at the poultry shop, I'm going to be cooking a turkey wing. And my turkey wing's right here thawing out. We're going to put that in the air fryer maybe in a couple of hours. And that's going to take about an hour to cook. So we're going to start that later on. Because everything in the hot lot is going to take about two and a half to three hours. Cooking is all about timing, y'all. Especially when you're cooking multiple meals. All right, fellas. So we're going to go ahead and drop these potatoes in. The water's starting to boil. And this is something I've always done. I don't know if you do yours this way, but if you do, put it in the comment section below. I just drop my potatoes, peel on in the hot water. I let those boil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these boil first. Potatoes takes about 30 to 45 minutes. And so we're gonna let those boil first. And then the last 10 to 12 minutes of the boil, we're gonna drop the eggs in. That way the eggs aren't cooking for 45 minutes. Once again, it's all about timing, y'all. All right, family, y'all stay tuned. Once again, we'll be in and out all day with this video, bringing y'all in when I add on my next ingredient. All right, family, y'all take care. We'll be right back. All right, fam. Up next, we are going to do my most favorite meat on the planet, other than Lady Red. Anyway, yes, we're going to, yes, I am nasty. Anyway, we're going to do our steak. So we're going to start out by spritzing our steak with a little oil. And this spritzer, yes, Timu. Yeah, baby. And I love this thing. So far, so good. Timu has not let me die. All right, fam. Next, we're going on with a little salt. And we use our pink, I love this pink salt. It does wonders. If y'all been around for the channel for a while, y'all remember we had a discussion a year or so ago about how you season your meat. Do you season everything on one side and then flip it? Or do you season salt, flip it, salt, then flip it, pepper, flip it? That's a lot of ways to flip, if you ask me. I ain't no acrobat. I ain't doing all that flipping. Turner, then we go in with salt. Pepper. 
And since this is gonna be a slow cook pan, we're gonna go ahead. Normally, when I'm cooking hot and fast, I add the butter at the end, and then we sear it. We're gonna go ahead and add some butter to that. Let's go ahead and drop a dollop or two of butter in there. Hey, buddy. Fitzgerald's mad at us. We, we went to uh, New Orleans on vacation this weekend, and we had to leave him at the veterinarian, and he was not happy with his mama. He said, you did not have to leave me. We were with family. Y'all could have took me. And he is showing that he is pissed. He ain't even over here with the food, y'all. He like, I'm on a starvation diet. So y'all learn to take me with y'all everywhere you go. He is really, really mad. He is mad. All right, fam, this is something that Lady Red and I did when we were cooking our steak in the Jeep on our way back from Georgia two weeks ago. I added some water at the base of a second container and I think it created steam. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. We're gonna take some aluminum foil and cover up the entire thing. Now I would use vinegar like my brother's recipe, but the last time I did that, I think I added too much vinegar. And Lady Red said it had a slight vinegar taste, and I have to agree. I don't like that. My brother does not have a vinegar taste. I don't know what I did, but we're not gonna repeat that. Now, I would suggest, those of you who use the hot, let me stop with the aluminum foil so y'all can hear me. Let me suggest for those of y'all who use the hot logic and you cook in this manner, experiment we're putting your aromatics in here. If you want the vinegar in there to try to create more tenderness in your steak, or if you want to put onions in there, whatever you want to do, put them to create those aromatics. Just experiment with it and see what works for you. All right, fam. That is part two, segment two. Um, okay, babe. I'm my mega meal. All right, fam. So we're going to go ahead and close this up. We already got our Hot logic plugged up and going. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back to get item number three. All right fam, I almost forgot one of the most important ingredients. I like to put onions on my uh, steak and what I've learned since I have the Jeep and I use the dehydrated onions because I can't have fresh onions in the Jeep, they actually seem to work really, really well. So I've been using high dehydrated onions in all my cooks. So we're gonna go ahead and put the dehydrated onions on top of the steak. And don't be shy. And if you want to, you can actually put some down in the bottom for aromatic. All right, family, now we're done with serving number two of our mega meal. All right, fam. Next up on the menu is our candy yams. And I like the sugary sounds. Any kind of candy yam is fine. I poured off a little bit of the liquid. And some of these uh, candy yams, canned candy yams, some of the liquid is darker, like they've already put sugar in it. These, it doesn't appear that they have. I poured off about half of the liquid. We're gonna pour the half, the other half in the pan. The hot logic is already on and the pan is already warm. Now, what I would normally do in this situation is I would take this, the uh, liquid from the candy yams, I add a little bit of cane syrup. Mm, if I can get the top off. Oh. A little bit of cane syrup. I would normally put that in the microwave and heat it up, but since we're doing it this way in the hot logic, we're gonna do it this here way. We can take the brown sugar, put it in now, mix that all together. Let me get a spoon. You see why we put it in the microwave? That syrup is still a little bit thick. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna do it like so. All right, fam. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and dump in our yams.
Then, a helping heaping. You know what? Let's go ahead and go in with a little bit of salt next. And it doesn't matter what order you do this in. Next, we're going to go in with our butter. We're going to use about a half a stick of butter. Last but not least, we're going to cover this liberally with brown sugar. Now after about an hour or so, I'll go back in and I'll stir all this up. Once it comes up to temperature. For those of you who are new to the channel, you're not familiar with the hot logic, this is a portable oven. They make a 12 volt variety that I keep one in my Jeep and I keep one in my wife's vehicle. And they make a house version, which is called the family size. And it's 110 that plugs into your electrical outlet. And I love these things. You can go back and look at some of my past videos on the hot logic and some of the things I've done, some of the recipes I've copied, some of the recipes I've come up with. Love these things. All right, fam. Probably about a cup or so of brown sugar. Go ahead and see if we incorporate that now. Make sure we don't have any lumps. Get it all mixed in. Cover up our potatoes. Alright, fam, we're gonna tear us off of. If you want to, you can kind of chop those down, make them a little smaller, make them a little more bite sizey. Boom. They're gonna break up as they heat up. Alright, fam. Got a nice little sweet mixture going right there. Woo, woo! That's gonna be good. That's going to get Rosie's sugar level up. Alright fam, we're going to go ahead and cover that with some aluminum foil. Alright fam, that is entree number four. If you count the potato salad and the devil egg as one. Alright fam, so we're going to go ahead bring this section in for a landing. When the potatoes and the eggs are finished, We'll go ahead and put the turnip greens on that burner. And what else is left? Oh, then after that, just the turkey legs will be left. All right, family. So far, so good. This is going spectacular. Oh, while we're here, let's go ahead. These potatoes have been on for about eh, 20, 25 minutes maybe. So let's go ahead and add the eggs. If we can get all a dozen in there. Cause we only did three potatoes to leave some room. You know what? Just so we don't crack those eggs. Let's go ahead and drop these in with some tongs maybe. All right fam, we kind of did it. We might have to take and rotate some things here and there, but we kind of got them in there. All right, fam, you can see those potatoes are getting there, that skin's starting to peel. And you can see how easy that pick skill, our skin is to peel off once these potatoes are cooked. I've been doing them that way for years. I know people, my mom used to peel the potatoes, chop them up into cubes and then boil them. Ah, ah. None of that, baby. We are lazy here at this and that, and we always find a lazy man way to do it. All right, fam, well, this is going excellently. So let's go ahead. We're going to wait about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes for the eggs to boil. We'll go ahead and pull those, let everything cool off. We'll start making our potato salad, and we'll take it from there. Meanwhile. I 
Alright. Alright, YouTube fam. We're gonna go ahead and bring this video wrap it up. I got my deviled eggs. I got my steak. We got turnip greens, candy yams, my one thick turkey wing, potato salad. As promised, I wanted to do my favorite foods and we were able to pull that off. Lady Red prepared the uh, deviled eggs, as y'all probably saw. I stuck a couple of shrimp in a couple of them. She yeah. wasn't in the pool, and neither was Roman, but I like shrimp in my deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. You like, oh, mm -hmm. and you like shrimp. Like shrimp. So family, like you probably already seen, I dropped some footage in of how I prepared everything. The hot logic was heavily involved. The uh, air fryer, I cooked my turkey wing, and I've already tested one and it came out perfect. So family, this is my 61st birthday. This is my mega meal. This is my family, the people that I love the most. Not everybody's here, but these are the core group. So family, if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do, you give your boy a thumbs up. And if y'all enjoy the content we're creating here, this and that, y'all know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And if you do become a subscriber, be sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy Rosen. Peace. Me, but I ain't turning back